Hi, welcome to Tech Tips. My name is Jim O'Flaherty for Imagine Technologies. Today we're going to cover the notes and leader settings in Inventor, along with fixing the default out-of-the-box chamfer note. I'm sure anytime you've gone in and had to add a chamfer note, you've noticed that the text comes in as upper and lower case text. That is not allowed by most, if not all, drafting standards, especially ANSI. So as a user, you are tasked to have to go back in and edit the text for each chamfer note that you insert. Well, there's an easy way to fix that. Go to the Manage tab, select the Styles Editor, expand your Dimension, dimension Callout, and in this case, we're going to stay with ANSI, so you got the default ANSI standards. Come over to the Notes and Leaders tab, select that, and then select the Chamfer Note Radio button. And as you can see, there's your offending text. So let's go in and fix that to all uppercase. Save that. And then select Done. And notice your text is correct. Now to verify that, we'll go back in and we'll add a new chamfer note. And there you are. All your text is uppercase per ANSI standards. So now we have that fixed, let's go back in and review all the different options you have under the Styles Editor button, under the Notes and Leaders tab. So first off, we'll start with the whole note. Under the whole note, you have the whole note format. And in here, you have about 56 different options to choose from as far as the type of whole note you want to call out. And by selecting one of these, you'll notice that all the info is in there. It's already prompting the model for the intelligence that is built into the model to fill in these requirements. So to make things easy for this demonstration, we're gonna stay with through. And as with all the other formats, you will see it comes in with the required uh, appended text stating through. Again, it'll uh, go to the model and grab the intelligence for that hole from the model itself, so as the model updates, so won't this note. And it also includes the diameter symbol that is required per ANSI standard. So now let's say you have other options that you want to put in or other references that you want to add to this note. You have all your different symbols and values that you can add here. So here you can select the whole diameter value. That'll populate the note with such. You also have hole depth, counter bore spot face diameter value, your counter bore and spot face depth, your counter sink diameter, counter sink angle, counter sink depth, and a quantity of those holes. You also have numerous symbols to choose from. You can even put in your thread designations, custom designation, thread pitch, thread class, thread depth, tap drill diameter, fastener type, fastener size, and fastener fit. You can also uh, dictate on the quantity note as to what quantity it calls up. You have the option of the number of holes in a pattern or feature, let's say uh, a bolt pattern you're calling out, and you have six holes within that pattern, it'll put in a quantity of six. If that changes to eight, it'll update accordingly. You also have the option of the number of like holes within a view. Again, it all depends on what you're looking to call out. Then you have your leader style. In this case, we're gonna stay with the general ANSI. You have your justification to the leader. You have your orientation, whether it's horizontal or aligned, and you have your text alignment. Uh, it defaults to first line centered, all above the landing line, the first above the landing line, JIS format, vertical extension, or all above the landing line underlined. Then you have options of your precision and tolerancing. Select that button and It'll default to global precision in order to modify that global precision for this uh, specific note or any ones thereafter. 
simply deselect that and then hit the pull down and you can select uh, your precision for each primary or alternate dimension. If you want to add a tolerance, simply select this expansion button and your tolerances will come up. Select that to activate it. And depending on the method that you choose, you will have the option of putting in your, in this case, your uh, deviation limits and also your precisions. You have limits stacked, you have max and min, and you got symmetric. Again, whatever you need to do, you can put that in here as a standard, or you can go in and change it uh, as you right before you're putting in your whole notes. Onto the chamfer note. As you can see, here we got the text that we had fixed. You have your uh, added values that you can put into this note. You can add in a distance one, a distance two, or the angle. Again, you have your symbols that you can choose from for any of the reference text that you got to put in. Your leader style is still same options. You got your general ANSI, your justification, your orientation, and your alignment. You also have your precision and tolerance button as well. Again, deselect the global precision and that'll allow you to go in and select whatever precision you want to use for your primary or alternate dimensions. Same with tolerances, select the boxes that you want to use for your primary, secondary, or tertiary uh, tolerances and add in what you need. Very simple. Next, we got the bend note settings. Bend note settings will put in the direction, the angle, and the radius of your bends. You can also add in a bend direction, a bend angle, a bend radius, and K factor into your note. Again, your symbols, your leader styles, justifications, and then precision and tolerances. You can expand that, and you have your tolerances here that you can choose. And then finally, we have the punch note settings. That'll give you your direction, your angle, and your depth of your punches. It'll also give you your punch ID, your punch direction, punch angle, and punch depth. You can put in a quantity. You have all your different symbols to choose from again. You got your edit quantity note as you did with the whole note. And here you can select whether you have the uh, number of like punches and a pattern or feature as you did with the uh, type of holes in the whole note or you can got the like punches in the model and that is it once you have these all set you select save and then select done and these are set for that file uh, from here on out i would highly suggest that the cad administrator or whoever is in charge of maintaining your templates for the company Go in and set these up within the template files themselves. This way, it is a global change. Every user that starts a new drawing will have these already preset. The users will not have to be bothered with having to go back and edit anything that does not come up to the company standards. Uh, it's just a, a huge time savings. So I would definitely set these within the template files and then roll it out and everybody is on the same page. And that is it for today's Tech Tips. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon.